Hello everyone and welcome back to The Walking Dead Michon. I am Exorf and uh, uh, we are in a bit of a bind here. We um, we killed Randall who was uh, after us um, and now Norma wants, uh, wants him back and she still thinks he's alive. Uh, she wants him in exchange for our friends, um, our crew. Like we used to sail ar around with on a boat. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna try to get them back <laughs> with uh, with Randall still being dead. Uh, I'm not sure what how we'll deal with it. He's currently got a bag over his head, which doesn't seem like the most solid plan. Uh, we just heard some people on the radio talking about prisoners not cooperating. I'm guessing that's uh, our crew they're talking about. And uh, we also had a hallucination of our kids running past us. Uh, which is a recurring thing <laughs> right now. So I'm not sure exactly what we need to do right now. Um, I'm wondering if we get some time to like explore right now. Could be that we're just trying to figure out the layout of the house. You can go out that there. Wow. She's been all over the world. Those days are long gone now. Yeah. I suppose they are. So, she's been... Okay, we're in Sam's house now, uh, room now. Was that right? I feel like that was right. Um, let's just double check. But I believe so, because we were supposed to pick this um, duffel bag up in her home, or in her room. Uh, so what else is there around there? Okay, can't use this door. Oh, that's not their kids. Oh, quartz. Right behind you. Walkers. Sam's mom. Looks like she was pretty sick. Hmm. Got a little basket ball thing over the uh, bin. And uh, yeah, the iron poker that we used to heal Sam's wound. Again. Uh, maybe we can use it as a backup weapon or something like that. Good to keep in mind at least that it's there. James and Alex, wonder how they get through all this. Yeah. It's uh, real rough with uh, with kids in these situations. Okay, so upstairs then, I guess. If we can go up there. Guess we can. So, we are heading outside and giving the guns to Sam, I guess. All oh, right, it was to the garage, not to not to outside, but I guess we're still kind of outside. Right, that feels significant somehow. <laughs> Worked better than I thought. What a mess. Ugh. Yeah, I mean, I'm not sure how we're thinking that this will work out, like, at all. It seems like a completely pointless plan. Maybe we'll have to keep him, like, very far away in the distance when we are approaching, uh, or when, uh, when Norma comes around. I think we should approach her. Hey, 
very soon. Hey, thanks for before. I, uh, I couldn't have moved it myself. Something you need? Hmm. Yeah, probably. I ran into James inside. I should really go talk to him. I, I know. I just, I know nothing I say is gonna make it any better. Paige thinks we're not safe here. Now we need to move on. I bet she's trying to convince you to leave too. She's wanted out of here for a while. I guess she's found her chance. I think Paige was right, Sam. We can't stay here. Think about it. This is house really worth dying over. It's not just the house. It's just so much of this place is my dad. It's all of us. He worked his way up from nothing. Took a job cleaning houses, paid his way through law school. When he bought this house, it was it was proof that he'd made a better life for us. We grew up here. I maybe I'm crazy, but I can't let that all be for nothing. He was so proud of what he built. This place kept us safe. We were happy here. I mean it will just be for nothing if you just die protecting it. Well it she's coming here. And she's not going to stop just because this place has sentimental value. I know. I don't expect you to understand. I should get back to work. Hmm. I hope we can talk some sense into her eventually. Okay, maybe that's not where I was supposed to go. What's this? This must be how they reinforce the gate. Hope it keeps Norma out. Okay. I'm wondering if we're gonna have to like light the oil on fire with uh, with this thing. Because I believe those um, torches can create a spark. Okay, so where was the other door then? Was it like over here no I guess it was inside Sam's room but no we can't go outside so I might be a bit confused maybe I'll head upstairs now or maybe I won't maybe I'll go inside here no okay all right, I'll uh, get back to you when I actually know where the hell I'm going. We've already been inside Sam's room again. We've already been in here. Okay, oh. Now I can interact with the stairs. All right, it's waiting up. Not sure why I couldn't earlier. Really. Maybe their interaction spot was just a bit small. Is that... music? <laughs> it's probably more hallucinations. Ah, oh, this is... different. I can't reach you. Not the other kid? Oh, yeah. yeah. That's not James. So what's his name again? I like that. It's pretty. My dad gave it to me, so I wouldn't have to hear the things out there. As long as I stay in my fortress, I'm safe. It keeps all the bad stuff out. I put pillows and blankets against the wall. Looks pretty sturdy. I bet it's kept you nice and safe for a long time. That's good. It has to. Because of them. I know what those monsters out there are. One to go. Okay. Grandma told me about them. It's what happens when someone 
eats another person. Oh? I hadn't heard that one before. Do they scare you too? They make lots of noise. Even at night. <laughs> the monsters don't scare me. I scare the monsters. Really? Yeah. My dad scares them off too. I've been waiting for him. Where is he? Why didn't he come get me yet? Oh, jeez. Where is my dad? He can't come right now. I want to wait here for my dad. Alex. I want my dad. I just I want my dad. I want Greg back. I want everything to go back to the way it was. Daddy. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I couldn't bring your brother home. When Greg, when he, did he become one of them? It, it, it's what happens, right? No, your brother didn't become one of them. Greg is still Greg. Uh, definitely no reason to tell the truth to him. To Am I gonna die and change into one too? <laughs> No, I'm going to protect you. Nothing out there will hurt you. Thanks. Two and three checked in. Coming up on the road now. Hey, keep the chatter to a minimum. Our friends are listening. I'm all for like a bit of Thanks tough for love. See your fortress. And uh, in situations like this, uh, like I definitely brought up Clementine to be able to face the realities in uh, in season one of uh, of The Walking Dead, but like it, it's not my place to. Um, it doesn't feel like it's even my place to tell him that his dad has died. I guess this is a nice way to connect back to uh, Michonne's children, in a way. Whoa, whoa, Jesus Christ. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah. I, uh... Hmm. What was I gonna, gonna say? Um, something about children. Yeah, this is definitely giving me some... Um, some season one flashbacks. Um, that, that little scene felt a lot like Lee and Clementine. Okay, so that's... Who's saying mommy? Is that uh, my hallucination? Is... Maybe we should be heading in this direction first. Okay, not heading down right now at least. Okay. Oh, this is confusing. <laughs> What's the diploma? I remember getting my law degree. Doesn't mean much now. Yeah, that's like a very useless thing to know in this kind of place. Or in this kind of world. Guess it might be good if you're going to like rebuild civilization. <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ, stop scaring me like that. I thought maybe you would be in here, but I guess not. So this would be James's room, I guess? Ta. Oh. Poor Greg. Yeah. Alright, I guess we're giving uh, the guns to... Hmm, who was this again? Paige? I'm not sure I do know her relation to everything. I thought maybe she was like um, the um, the father here, his uh, new girlfriend or something, but doesn't feel like that's the case. Oh, hey, I, I didn't hear you come in. Here. Yeah. 
I wonder if we're going to have to like make a choice between staying and um, and fighting, or if we leave. I'm still lead leading towards leaving for sure. Were you able to talk some sense into her, or do you still think digging a hole is a good use of Sam's time? I've never seen her like this. Mm. She's she's not thinking. Sam wants to defend the house. She wants to fight. You're kidding. Norma's got more people, more guns. There's no way we win in that fight. I don't know why Sam thinks she can protect her brothers here. I'll be out of your hair soon enough. Never belonged here anyway, same as you. That's one thing we got in common. Squatters in other people's lives. What do you mean, same as me? I know what it's like running from whatever. I spent most of my life doing that. Norma's gonna be here soon. If they're not ready, I won't stick around just to watch this fall apart. She's so stubborn though. I just hope it doesn't get her killed this time. Ah. Uh, You're the only one here who can convince Sam to leave. Uh, Talk to her. I tried. Try again. She needs to be ready to run. And so do the kids. The Fairbanks kept me safe, but I don't know if I can do the same for them. Yeah, so I guess they're not like related. I'm not sure entirely how she came into their life. It was probably explained and I admitted, but Right, guess that's it. Like, yeah, those voices are almost definitely from uh, Michon's children. Oh, Michon, I'm uh, looking for Alex. Have you seen him? I want him to be there when I say a few words for dad. He wasn't at mom's funeral. Mm. He should be there for this. Alex asked about his father. I didn't know what to tell him. I'll, uh, I'll go talk to him. I'll find him in his fortress. I'll meet you outside. Yeah, I hope I did the right thing. Not uh, not telling him. Uh, but all right, that will be the end of this episode. If you enjoyed watching it, then please leave a like, subscribe for more videos every week. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you next time on The Walking Dead with Sean. Bye bye.